Welcome back, guys, to Bristol Daily Homes. Ryan here. Five homes to review for the weekend um, this Friday. The first of which is 12036 Underwood Court, located to, at the Villages at Bristol. It's a standard sale detached colonial four bedrooms, three and a half baths, just under a quarter acre lot. 2,350 square feet above grade um, with a fully finished basement as well. So you're probably somewhere around 3,000 plus square feet. Um, We've got three finished levels, like I said. Vinyl siding, two-car garage on the outside. Some decent landscaping there in the front. Hardwood flooring in the living room and dining room. There's the kitchen, which looks like it be standard oak cabinets and um, regular counter, you know, your regular builder grade countertops there. It looks to have a cooktop. Um, as well as uh, it looks like mix and match appliances. Some have been swapped out. A double wall oven, stainless steel, looks like it's been replaced at some point. House is built in 2001. Hardwood floors in the kitchen area as well. That leads out to the deck area, as you can see here from the picture. Here's the family room area with the stone fireplace, master bedroom. Spare bedrooms, the deck area, fenced in lot, and here is the basement area, which is also finished off. Um, price point four fifty nine 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 nine. It could be just a touch on the high side, um, especially since this is a little bit older. Um, probably maybe into that four fifty ish range might be um, a little bit better price point, but decent home there. One zero zero six one Spindlefoot Court, located at the village of Saybrook. This is four hundred thirty five thousand, uh, nineteen hundred twenty square feet above grade with another 900 finished in the basement just under a quarter acre lot as well four bedrooms three and a half baths vinyl siding two car garage um we'll go through the pictures here as you can see that the other one was a little was was bigger um by about 400 square feet on the main levels um but obviously your price tag here 435,000 versus 460,000 something to consider there Hardwood floors, kitchen's been upgraded with granite, and also uh, we got some stainless steel appliances and oak cabinets, so a little bit of an upgrade versus the other one that we saw. A little bit smaller, obviously, but um, for those looking um, and are more price conscious, this might be the better option for you. There's the finished basement. Home shows well overall. It looks like a fenced-in backyard, the gazebo off the deck. Looks good, and I think the price point is pretty much right in line with where many of them are have been um, selling in that square footage range. Eight nine eight eight Dennis Court and Pineboro Estates, three hundred forty thousand is attached colonial, built in ninety three, so it's a little bit of an older home. Point one nine two of an acre, eighteen hundred eighty four square feet above grade, with a partially finished basement. So you're probably somewhere around that twenty four twenty five hundred square feet. Um, doesn't show in the listing. Uh, two car garage. Final siding on the outside, small deck off the back. I think you know the most appealing part about this one is going to be your price. Looks like the deck's ne deck needs to be power washed and probably sealed and stained. Um, here's the interior. Kitchen looks to be a little dated, obviously. So this home's going to be need a little bit of love, obviously, but that's not a big deal considering the price tag's 340000 There's not many detached homes in Bristow that are under 350000 So. That being said, I think that this one will probably move really quick. Um, perfect for first-time home buyers that are not afraid of a little bit of, of work. Um, and this might be one of the better ones that we've seen as far as price range and getting an attached home close to a quarter acre lot. Looks to be that looks to be a uh, foreclosure HUD HUD home, so that's why you know obviously it's priced a little bit cheaper and needs needs some work. 10800 Henry Abbott Roads, located in Bristow Village, 474,900. Four bedrooms, two and a half baths, 0.191 of an acre, 2,688 square feet with a partially finished basement. So you're somewhere over uh, the 3,400 square feet total, uh, somewhere in that range. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing because it doesn't show in the listing. Vinyl siding with detail, or it's, it's a got a garage that's on the back side of the home that's two car garage. Um, and we'll see it here in a second. As I always mention, these lots are typically very narrow and deep. Um, and, you know, those wanting huge, you know, yards or, or yards that you can actually use, New Bristol Village doesn't have too many of them. And here you can see the patio that's off the back side of the house as well as the two-car garage. 
Here's the interior with hardwood floors and some carpet in the, the dining room and living room areas. Here's the kitchen with granite, stainless appliances, tile black backsplash, which is nice. Family room area with a fire gas fireplace. House shows well on the inside. Um, Here's the basement area, the partially finished basement, so it looks like there's a little bit of, you know, extra space that could be finished off as well. Um, price point is $474,900. Seems to be mm, priced reasonably. Could be just a touch high. A lot small. Square footage is decent. Upgrades are, are, are pretty solid on the inside. Maybe just a touch high on that one. 1677 Twin Leaf Drive, located in Avondale. This is the uh, new builds. Um, this is going to be ready in the summer. This is a Norwood model for under $9,999. Remember, this is the base price. Um, we've got two-car garage, um, which is going to be in the rear of this house. Now, the base square footage on this one is only $1,700. It's just over an eighth of an acre, three bedrooms, two and a half baths. Perfect for you know a first-time home buyer that's looking to keep the price point down. It is only three bedrooms, so that might be a drawback for many people. Um, but you do this is going to come with granite counters and stainless steel appliances. It's going to be an unfinished basement, so that's going to be an add-on. So if you're looking to finish off a basement, if you're looking to do many upgrades, you're going to very quickly get into that 450 range. Um, but as the base price, not too bad. Uh, if you'd like to take a look at any of these homes, the new homes, uh, we can obviously get you out to see these new home sites and find a model that would fit your needs. Give us a call to schedule a showing, 703-596-0011, or as always, contact us through the website at bristodailyhomes.com. That's bristodailyhomes.com. Hope everybody enjoys their weekend, and we'll be back with you on Monday. Talk soon.